This video is about fit. Before you can start assembling your barrel, you need to determine what the fit is like for each of the journals that you're pushing the part onto. The first thing to do is start with the trunnion, which pressing the barrel into it will determine your headspace. Now, the new US barrels uh, have to fit a range of parts. So, your trunnion might be a little bit bigger than another trunnion that they have to fit this barrel to and vice versa. And This barrel might be oversized a little bit so that you can turn it down to where it will fit nicely with your trunnion. Now something a little bit about fits. You have what they call an interference fit or a press fit. Most guys in the gun world call it a press fit. And then you have a clearance fit and a free fit. Now a clearance fit would be, uh, you basically could put the part on there and the hole is bigger than the shaft. This won't be like that because it will go on this journal right here, but say if it was on that, that would be a free fit. Now when you have an interference fit, basically the shaft is bigger than the hole. See, I can't press that in there without a lot of force. But we need to check just how much interference is there. If we have an interference of five thousandths, that's a little high, and it'll start to pop on you, and it's hard to get the barrel to go in smooth. If we only have an interference of a thousandth, that's, a, that's getting pretty small, but that'll still work. So basically, you want to measure your barrel and measure your trunnion to see what the fit is going to be like. Now, if you have outside micrometers, they'll do better than just your regular mics. But for the video, I'm just going to use these because most guys, this is all you really need. We're going to measure this part of the barrel, see how big it is. Try to get a reading that is reproducible, that every time you measure it, it comes to the same measurement. So I had my girlfriend write this so you guys can actually read it. So I'm going to write down what my trunnion journal is. Okay. Now, once you have the measurement down for your barrel, you need to measure the inside of the trunnion. Okay, now, um, you need a set of these to really measure uh, telescoping gauges. You really need a set of these to measure the inside of a trunnion. If you, if you see, like a regular set of micrometers, when you try to stick it in there, there's no real way to get make sure that you're square on the hole. So even if you're like this, it's still you still can't get as accurate reading as if you have one of these. See that they're rounded on the edge so that it'll find the biggest spot possible. You don't really need a very expensive set, just make sure you got one that'll be nice enough to get a good reading. Okay. Once you have your gauge out, make sure that you pick the right size for the size hole you're reading. Alright, so now that you got your gauge out. Put it in the hole, and make sure you're getting it to where it's, uh, you know, the biggest spot it can. You don't want to bind it or have it crooked. All right, now when you're taking the telescope gauge out, you want to go down and then up, so you don't throw your reading off side to side. Okay, now I'm going to check my reading again because you want to be able to reproduce it. Alright, so I was able to reproduce my uh, measurement again, which is .8655. So we're going to write that down for the trunnion. That's the hole in the trunnion. Now I'm writing that five small because that's how you see it here on the micrometers. I mean that's actually just the next place, but I'm writing that small so people can relate it to this. So if you subtract the smaller number, the hole, from the shaft, which should be bigger, you'll get two thousandths on this one. And that's a good press fit for an AK barrel. That'll go in really smooth and hold tight and hold the whole time we're drilling for the pinhole. That'll work out really nice. Now I want to do the same thing for the rear sight block and the front sight block. 
which they're not as crucial, but you still want that to be on there tight, not a free fit. I know recently there's been a problem with uh, the rear sight block on some like RPK barrels from the United States. And uh, basically you're shooting for the same thing. You don't want this to be 5,000 difference. That's just too tight. You're gonna have to trim that, the barrel down. Basically just do the same thing. Take your telescoping gauges and uh, see how big this hole is. And uh, take your mics and see how big this is. All right, so I went back and I measured the other journals. Um, basically just did the, did the exact same thing. Measure the hole, use my telescope gauge. Measure the barrel, use my micrometers. And then the front sight block with the front sight block journal. The journal is two thousandths larger than the front sight block hole. The rear sight block journal is about a thousandth and a half bigger than the rear sight block hole. This is one of the nicest US barrels I've ever seen. Um, it's from Blue Jack. He's on Gunco and AK Files and he's selling these and if you have a Bulgarian kit that you need a barrel to, I would suggest getting a hold of him. The gas port on his barrels, uh, this one it was actually drilled better than the original one which I saw on the stub when I took the front sight block off. So I've got to say his barrels are really nice.